Hello and welcome to the official start of the Game Session Podcast Show. Um, man, okay, now I gotta do that shit all over again. Okay, I forgot to fix my microphone thing in the recording, so this sucks. Okay, gotta go through this as quick as I can. Uh, this week, joined by Atma and Sarah. Very glad to have the two of you on. Atma, that's your third introduction. Sarah, that's your second. <laughs> Uh, you two are doing well. Uh, Game Session Podcast filmed here live on either Sundays or Mondays now because of a work schedule change. Um, so yeah, we're going to be at 5 p.m. on either Sunday or Monday. Follow me on Twitter to see which day it's going to be as well as the rest of the stream schedule. Uh, streaming a little bit less now so I can focus on video essays. You also see that progress on Twitter. Uh, it's filmed live here on Twitch. You can find it later on podcast services and on YouTube as full episodes and individually cut up segments uh da, 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 da. yeah i think that about covers it right did that in about 30 seconds or, le- or less good speed round cool uh shout outs to to uh patrons over on my patreon uh super patrons at the five dollar and up tier to ramen nomad and Bo. and shout out to uh i forget what the tier is there, there's like there's super patrons and there's super duper patrons i believe the super patrons are fourth big boss and slide so thank you very much uh to to you everyone there uh, with that, let's go ahead and ignore the fact that I fucked up my, like, I didn't fuck up, stream lags fucked up. I usually have everything already set and ready to go, but, um, this didn't like me for whatever reason, so there's that. <laughs> uh, let's go over some new releases. I don't know if you've played, or, Atma, do you want to start off with, uh, Chicory? Yeah, I can do that. Um, I haven't really gotten too far into it because I got distracted by the uh, Yuffie DLC for uh, Final Fantasy VII. Um, Real quick, how did you pronounce that? Y- Yuffie? Yuffie? It should be Yuffie, shouldn't it? <laughs> I, I, I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> you th- you'd think after playing it, I'd be able to pronounce it right, you know? Anyway. Um, but yeah, so Chicory is really fun. I kickstarted it back when it, whenever the Kickstarter was announced, and so... It's like a, a cute little game. You you run around as a as a dog, and you get to paint things. And it, it's it's surprisingly like Zelda like, um, with sort of like getting new abilities and uh, using your paint to get around and everything. And it's uh, it's cute. It's very chill. Um, Is it a two D or three D? It it's two D. 2D like Zelda is, you know, like sort of like top downy ish walking around. Um, okay. So like uh, Link to the Past, basically, then, right? Kind of like that, yeah. Okay. Everything is like, all the characters are, it reminds me a little bit of like Paper Mario aesthetic um, mm-hmm. in, in how, it, how it looks. Very coloring book esque. What's, uh, what's it available on? It is on PS4 and PS5 and, uh, as like a free upgrade. I don't know if there's any significant changes to it. And PC, I believe. I do not think it's on anything else. I'm okay. surprised it's not a Switch release. Because right before it, my flight on Thursday, I was fully under the impression it was. And I went on the Switch eShop to like download it. And it is a search term on the eShop. Like it came up when I did CH. So people have been looking for it to see if it's a Switch title, but it's. I was utterly surprised when it wasn't. Like, I do want to play this, but it's that weird, I don't see myself playing it on my PlayStation, I see myself playing it on my Switch. It feels like it should be a Switch game. It yeah, really... like I was utterly surprised when it, when it like, wasn't. <laughs> like, I'm sure that was some sort of, like, exclusivity thing, but I how was much, uh, How much does it cost? Uh kickstarted it so i don't know i think it's either 15 or 20 i want to say i can look it up real fast okay yeah it really surprises me that it didn't come to switch since that's basically become like the haven for uh for indie games it, it's 20 dollars on steam so okay that's not bad i mean i, I feel like with I, that I, nintendo like searches those out i went to uh day of the devs like a, the year the switch came out and I remember a, a Nintendo person going up to indie developers and literally saying, hi, I'm with Nintendo. We're, we're, we're looking to put indies on the Switch. Here's my business card. Give give us a call. So, like, I feel like if Nintendo wanted this, they would have made it an exclusive. I wonder if it has some sort of exclusivity deal with Sony. 
maybe i i would fucking love it of an indie developer like like let's just say let's just take like hades for example they just said fuck it our game is 60 bucks we don't care that we're indie our game is damn well worth it i think people would probably agree with that oh yeah hades for sure <laughs> 